WSSD rates charged at one rand fifty per minute. The Metro FM Music Awards 2024. Are, are you ready for an amazing night? Brought to you by the Mpumalanga Provincial Government. Visit and explore Mpumalanga, the place of the rising sun. Metro FM, it's where you want to be. T's and C's apply. People of Earth, I have an important announcement to make. Listen to me. One that you've been waiting for a long time. Andile, get all away now. Andile, ole para mfan. Andile, umdia, arena di mdia, ole para. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing tonight? All right. I'd like to welcome right. to the stage. King Andile, mama. To everybody in the house, give a warm round of applause for King Andile, Andile, mama. Ia, ia, ah. A platform of millions here at the South African Broadcasting Corporation. We make sure that we pride ourselves in bringing in the very best analysts and contributors from all over the world. And we're fortunate enough to have Ben Jacobs. Unfortunately, a Leicester fan. I nearly hung up after you insulted my team <laughs> introduction there. <laughs> And hey, next time we speak, my Leicester might even be mathematically promoted. I'll tell you what, if they do get promoted, I'll call you just for that. <laughs> I look forward to it. Arsenal will Arsenal. Do I still stand on my standpoint? Yes, I do. Arsenal will Arsenal. Sinong is out in Rustenburg. Stop saying Arsenal will be Arsenal anymore. Whatever you're saying, you have to call me when Arsenal wins the league. But then in the position, and we have to call me there. <laughs> Let's go to Tato. I've been getting into my car at 6 o'clock every day. I can't recall you saying Arsenal or Arsenal this whole season. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. Today I heard it, and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> the legendary Goldman go Max Mapunyane. Max, I wanted to welcome Cesar Mabena back to the SABC. Click, click, back. I remember when uh, I was with Cizwe and the late Gabo Manyapi. There was a time when we had to initiate him. You know, the good old days when the TV has to close at 12 o'clock, there will be those uh, rainbow colors. The color, color bars, bars, yes. So mm. sending him to the van to ask for color bars. I thought I heard cannabis. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I go to the van. Um, upra, max, upra, 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 upra. That's really cannabis. So, I'm, <laughs> so I didn't even ask for color bars. I <laughs> cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> Sports Night Amplified with Andile on Metro FM. Monday through Friday, 6 to 7 p.m. Game over.
Turn off the hour six on the Mighty Metro FM. Welcome to it. Thank you so much to the touchdown. It's Tibo Touch and Loot Love. they back again tomorrow between three and six. Uh, still a job. There's no better place to be between three and six as far as drive is concerned. And then they roll out the red carpet. We come in. Sports and Amplified with Andy Le on this, the Mighty Metro. I am Andy Le Ngube. Denis Jordan has responded to Portia Mudise. She made her allegations here on this show. She had a lot to say. Danny Jordan had something to say back to Portia Mudisa. And then Victor's here because he wants to answer one question. Sian Ramovich says, why is it that I get the same referee for four games? Hmm? Same referee. And he obviously is not impressed by that very referee. Mazura Malefe is coming in with some news as well. But is it in a row? Sorry to go back to that Sian Ramovich thing. Is it really four games in a row? Have you checked it? Uh, that referee was not the referee against Super Sport when they played Super well, Sport. Well, the ref is here. Why am I getting the same ref all the time? Victor. Why am I getting the same guy every time? We'll answer that. We'll answer that. We'll answer that. And then, Soccer Zone tonight. It's going to be a big one because we answer the question. Orlando Pirates. What did you call it, Victor? Yes, Skanda. Let's take a break. <laughs> Hi, my name is Vincent, technician from PG Glass. Damage roads can cause big problems for windscreens. My last customer ignored a small chip on hers. She drove over a pothole and cracked. She could have saved time and money by not leaving that chip too long. When a chip is smaller than a two rand coin, we can usually repair it without taking out the entire windscreen. Plus, most insurance policies will cover the cost of the repair. Windscreen chipped or cracked? Call PG Glass on 0860 today. PG Glass Repair, PG Glass Replace. Yo, for how much? That's how you react when you see really high prices for rides. But there's no reason to worry, because with InDrive, you can always offer a fair deal and not just hope for it. Use InDrive and negotiate a fair price for the ride near you. InDrive, people driven. The InDrive online passenger transportation aggregator is not a taxi service. Find more information at www.indrive.com. The three wise men, but not always so wise, on Sports Night Amplified with MDLA on Metro FM. So, uh, welcome to it. It was a big thing on the weekend uh, with people calling me and asking me personally, Andile, why would you not um, report on the Rainford Galaba matter? Because it was a, a, a trending topic. Rainford Calaba has been injured and uh, has lost his life in a car accident, it was said. TP Mazembe then go and put the news out there that Rainford Calaba has lost his life and they pay their respect to him, which made the matter worse. But I can tell you now that Rainford Calaba is still alive. Ivan. He's alive. The hospital to which he's been kept at this time receiving care has come out as well and said guys this is news to us um tipi mazembe has sent out a statement apologizing for the mistake that they'd made as well rainford kalaba is alive and well oh he God. has not passed on True. but i understand the journals because as journalists as well mm. if the club it comes from the says club, yeah, hey this person is late we will all go with what the club has said mm-hmm. so the club aid in saying that rainford kalaba is late he is not late there was a bad accident but he is alive. I thought that I'd just put that out there, uh, top of the show. Uh, we did make calls as well with our team. You know, we have a huge footprint here on Metro FM, particularly here on Sports Not Amplified with Andile on the continent. You know the guys that we use from the entire continent. The guys that are watching the show now, this is how they receive it. Um, if you're on Instagram right now, you can watch the show. It's at SABC Sport. You can watch the show on YouTube. Uh, the guys from the entire continent watch the show there. And uh, I can tell you now that we did reach out and were told no. Uh, the former Zambian international is uh, alive and uh, receiving the best care and he's getting better, in fact. That's good news. So that's the news coming out as far as that is concerned. 15 after the hour six. I don't want to say much about Arsenal fans. Please, uh, um, but uh, please, do okay, give me a call. No. Skor- I, I Aston don't know. Villa I, I just born a little. I'm hoping they're going to call me and tell me. <laughs> Arsenal fans, please tell me. Man United with, have, with a draw. Liverpool dropping points. Mm. Man City are once again ahead of the rest at the moment. So that's as far as the Premier League is concerned. Bayer Leverkusen. Fantastic. Unbelievable. A story of a lifetime. So La, La Liga is different in that there's two teams that compete for the league there. One can throw in 
uh, to say, no, there's another team in Madrid. But truth be told, there's two teams. There's Barcelona or Real Madrid. Those two are the ones that go for it. That's where the league goes every season. You go to the Premier League, you know, then you, you've got a Chelsea, um, a Liverpool, a Man United, an Arsenal, um, uh, and then, of course, a Man City. Those are the teams that at any given point, depending on the year, if you go every five, every ten years, that can possibly win it. You know, you'll throw in the underdogs, Leicester, which is a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence. But it's different in a Bundesliga. In the Bundes, it's one team that's won it for the last 11 years yeah. in a row. One team wins the league there. And it's Bayern. It wasn't to be so this season. Not only did Xavi Alonso get there and win the league, he's still in the cup. He's still in, 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 in Europa as well. But he did so unbeaten. He did so invincibly so far. I mean, the league is not over yet. But he's won it. Unbelievable. The scenes there were incredible. So we'll get into all of that. But firstly, uh, let's talk to the three wise men. It's Monday. The three wise men are here. The three wise men. But not always so wise on Sports Night Amplified with M. Delay on Metro FM. The three wise men are here. It's Victor Shumwan, a former captain, PSL referee, Mazala for SABC Sports senior reporter, and of course, a presenter on the SABC. Let me start with Victor. Victor, on Soccer Zone tonight, we're going to have a field day because there's so many issues uh, to talk about. But firstly, let's start with here. What do you have? Uh, here, my, uh, we have. Um uh, let me say two things, because the rest will take them to soccer zone. Uh, I don't know. Are you okay? You don't sound. Are you good? Yeah, you know. He, sound, you, he sounds. Oh, you sound down, man. No, are you okay? No, when you are called a scandal, you. you <laughs> The scandal is busy. But it wasn't you. You were not the referee. You are not the referee. No, I still have refereeing blood in me. So Okay, but what do you have for us? Yeah, um, we, we have um, uh, Amatax and Sundowns match. Uh, we want to talk about free, quick free kick. Uh, the second one, uh, I want to touch on the six seconds rule. Uh, because last You touched on it last week. We never did. We, we haven't done it. You said but that uh, referee, six, I mean, a uh, goalkeeper, six seconds. Uh, it's an overlooked rule nowadays. Uh, okay, if we have touched it, I'm ah, very happy if you can remember. Content. Uh, yeah. Well, like no, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, they gave him so much. <laughs> the no, coaches gave him so, so much, much this content. weekend. Oh, no, the other so one we're going to touch on is uh, how often okay, remo- can the same referee... Yes. Ref the same team. Yeah. What are the rules and how do you choose a referee for every game? I uh, will give an advice. Say Adramovic has something to say about that. Yeah. Okay. Mazala, what do you have? Uh, I've got a lot. Uh, and some of it obviously will also take it to Soccer Zone. But you can join the three of us, in fact, uh, yeah. on Soccer Zone this evening. SABC 1, 10 o'clock. It's going to be a, a show that Victor and Mazola are going to be running more than anything because everybody wants to know uh, these pressing news. And uh, a friend of mine actually just reminded me now that uh, over the weekend, the game between Udinese and uh, Roma, mm. uh, def- uh, Ivorian defender Evan Ndika collapsed and had to be rushed to hospital. The mm. game was uh, postponed around the 80th minute. I remember him because I had the pleasure of interviewing him at the AFCON. He played for uh, Cote d'Ivoire and won the AFCON yeah. at Cote d'Ivoire, but... Uh, thankfully, he's okay. He's in hospital recovering, but he poses a question. Why are West African players mostly uh, having these situations where they are collapsing on the pitch? There's there's more and more. As medicine improves, uh, but we seem to have more and more players uh, collapsing. collapsing. On the field, Some, yeah. unfortunately, uh, have Losing lost their, their lives, lives yeah. as well. So we've got all of that. Uh, Kev President was also out in Angola. We'll give an update on that. And Richards Bay. Uh, the uh, latest PSL club to be hit with a transfer ban by FIFA. Richards Bay, with all the problems and the troubles they're in, have a transfer ban. The same one Chiefs had, the same one Morocco Royal Salus AM had, has, Royal the same AM one. still have for two players, Ricardo Nascimento as well as Samir Nukovic. They still haven't paid those players and they haven't been able to sign players. Richards Bay, the latest, and they are fighting for their lives in the DSTV Premiership. Well, we'll go to their stories and more. But firstly, let's have a listen to what the weekend sounded like. This is a Premier League commentary of the weekend. That's Wharton. This is Mitchell. Oh, there's the chance. There's a goal. It's beautifully worked by Palace. Liverpool find themselves behind again. Looking for Saka, intelligent. Saka, oh, into the side netting. Drills one in. It's gone right across Bailey. He had to score. And Leon Bailey has put Aston Villa in front, and in the second half, that goal was coming. Eddie Nketiah is about to come on. Villa will try and break Watkins. Smith rows back with him. 
Watkins will go on his own, and he scored. Ollie Watkins takes it very coolly. Arsenal were caught on the break, and it's 2 0. Incredible results uh, from the Premier League. Bournemouth and Manchester United, that was 2 2. One point each sharing the spoils there. Newcastle United putting four past Tottenham with goals from Isaac Brace, Gordon, and Shai there scoring in the 87th minute. In other results, you had Manchester City putting five past Luton, and it would have been uh, great for them to see a Haaland getting on the score sheet there. Although it was a penalty in the 76th minute, it all began with a two minute goal that was an own goal from Hashioka, Doku, and Gvadiol with an amazing goal, that last goal of his. And uh, the other result uh, was Saturday's results, that rather Sunday's result that shocked everyone. And I thought, hey, Liverpool were going to beat Crystal Palace. They could overcome that 1-0, but they couldn't. 1-0 is how it ended. Is his goal in the 14th minute, and they were able to hold on till the end. And then Arsenal. Arsenal going down to Aston Villa by two goals to zero. Goal scored in the 84th and 87th minute. If that's not a concussion for a heart attack, a headache, and a divorce, I don't know what is. Give City the league, man. Ka 84th and 87th, Give City the league. Give City the league? Give City the league. Well, at the moment, Arsenal, are they Arsenaling? I'm asking. I said they would. <laughs> are they Arsenaling? <laughs> Uh, Arsenal, <laughs> Arsenaling is the question. At the moment, Manchester City, with 32 games played, have 73 points, and they have an easier route of the last six games compared to Arsenal, who have 71 points. They're two points adrift. So is Liverpool uh, tied on points with just a better goal difference is Arsenal at the moment. Completing the top four is Aston Villa. Aston Villa, imagine that, in fourth position. In fifth is Tottenham Hotspur. Sixth, Newcastle. And in seventh, very, very, very off pace is Manchester United with 50 points. You look at the bottom, though. Burnley and uh, Sheffield United. Is it all over for those two teams? Luton, possibly still something to fight for with 25 points. But for Burnley and Sheffield United with 20 points and 16 points, respectively, is it all over? Everybody wants to hear from the same man. So let's go to Mikel Arteta on the loss. We had one of the best performers in the first half that we had this season, by far, against a really good team. It should have been three or four or more. Um, it didn't happen. In the second half, momentum shifted. We could not uh, control and generate what we did in the first half. We struggled. We conceded two very poor goals and we lost the game. So, congratulate the opponent. Yeah, ne? Arsenal. <laughs> you had the league in your hand, guys. Man United even did you a favor. Yeah. Last week. But with not, the Liverpool. It's, it's not, not over, it's though. Not over. No, it's, it's not, not over. I agree. It's not over. It's not over. But hey, it's going to be a tough one. Let's go now to like local football. Eight games, eh? Yeah. Hey, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. Here's sorry, a commentary. Six. I said six and you're correcting sorry, me. Sorry. I did six. Huskies. DSCB Premiership. Uh, we don't have sound from there. Okay, cool. We can just reflect on the goals uh, from uh, the TS Galaxy, Chippa United. Chippa United putting two past uh, TS Galaxy there. What a game, Amazulu versus Orlando Pirates. Pule Extian. Ramat Limpatele. Tito. Maswangani. Oh man, we've got some players in this country. It's the scandal game. It's the scandal game. <laughs> it's the scandal game. 4 2 <laughs> is how it ended. Orlando Pirates getting the better there of their opponents. Amazulu. Stellenbosch versus Super Sport United. Stellenbosch putting four past a very lackluster Super Sport United. They look like they didn't show up. They look like they never left Pretoria to go to Stellenbosch. And then the game, everybody was surprised at. Mark uh, said it on Friday. Mark Haskins on Friday said Sundowns are not going to have it all their way with this uh, team out at Amatax. But the coach says Sundowns are tired. Yeah, I mean, I believe it because Amatax, after they scored that first goal early, Sundowns, uh, and a cracker of a goal, beautiful goal from Ribeiro. You might have thought, oh, it's going to be two, three, four, maybe even five goals, but it wasn't to be so. Tax came back 1 1. It went to penalties. Ronan Williams, once again, the savior here. Mm-hmm. So it's back to back games that Ronan Williams has had to save Sundowns, but that's his job. So is he saving Sundowns or it's the team, actually? I think uh, we need to word it's that paid. differently. Yeah, that's what he does, and he did so fantastically. Yes. Take a quick break when we come back. Um, oh, no, we've got reactions, though, ne? We've got reactions. My brain is all over the place. Let's go to Lana Mukwena. Uh, Mazola says he says he's tired. Let's hear what he's saying. Congratulations to Tux for being uh, very good opponents. They were you know, so difficult. Mar- Mario Mesha said to me it was like visiting the dentist. Uh, um, and it's so true. That one-on-one, the entire pitch. But we also made it difficult for ourselves. We could have been 3-4-0 by halftime. Maybe even in the first 15 minutes, we missed so many of these chances. 
Let's go to Pablo Martin now. He's not happy that Amazulu coach about the results, and he says that the results are not decided by football. They are decided by someone else. We were leading the game. We won the first half. Even if the scoreboard says something different, we won the first half. And after that, in the second half, it was an open game. We got the 2 2. We got a crossbar. We could have won the game from there. But uh, in the end, with this score, it seems like they are winning in a fair way, and it's not true. Uh, and it's something that is happening in the whole season with Amazulu. We don't have any respect. And the results uh, are decided by someone else. Someone else who thinks that we don't have family, that we don't work very hard, and that. And we want what we serve. Hey, he was he was he was not happy. The presenter asking him the questions nearly caught a right there. <laughs> he was not happy, was Pablo Martin. It says results are decided by someone else, and this is the game that we're talking about that Victor Slungane has labeled the scandal game. See Adramovich also not happy. Have a look to what he says about referees as well. It's a very strange uh, situation that, that we get a referee that is four uh, times now is here. So it means against uh, Sekune, against uh, Stellenbosch in the final, DG General, and now again. And every time he had a very strange the, the, the positions. So it means when I see uh, yesterday what happened Amazulo against Orlando, then I have to ask is why it's so many referees there? Why again him? Because in the final we should get two times a uh, penalty. It was a clear one. We didn't get it. So I say that very strange the decisions. Hmm. He counted the games. He counted the games. But we must verify. He principle. counted the games. But he goes on. Hold on. He says he doesn't care who refs the match. All he wants is a fair referee. Mm-hmm. We want always a fair play. I don't want any gifts from the referees, but I don't want also any strange situations against us. So I just want everything fair and a better team should win. This is what we do. But if it's strange things, then we have to ask. Then we have to ask why. Well, that's the referee, Orani Quinda, who took care of that match there, but he's been taking care of a lot of matches. As far as he's concerned. <laughs> Let's move on now to something that concerns you a little bit more. Denis Jordan uh, mm. speaking on racism allegations from Porsche. Or is he really speaking on them? But this is what Denis Jordan had to say when asked about what Porsche said here on the show about Desiree Ellis and her racism uh, that favors colored players. No, I'm not going to respond to uh, Porsche. You can't expect me to, as an organization, we must respond to an individual player. We can't do that. So we are not interested in what uh, any individual player has to say. That's a view, that's an opinion. Uh, and you look at, I mean, Banyana team, and you will see a team representative of the entire South African nation in that team. So uh, I don't think it's something that we consider serious, and we certainly are not going to comment on it. Oh, he did uh, comment on it in saying that. And his comment basically is the team says different to what Porsche says. The team represents the entire nation as is. He basically uses the metaphor of the rainbow nation. Says, take a look at the team. It represents who South Africa is. Let's take a break. When we come back, I think we're going to start uh, any mini mini mo. We'll go straight to Scandal. Scandal. Podcast Friday on Sports Night Amplified with a delay on Metro FM. My game is Orlando Pirates versus Amazulu. I know Pirates are without three of their central defenders, but I still believe that they will be good enough to beat Amazulu and go to the semis. Right. Simply because the last time Amazulu beat Pirates was 8 August 2013. There's a reason for that. What? Yo. Yes. The last time Amazulu beat Pirates was when? 8 August 2013. So That's they... almost, what, 10 years? Yeah. yeah. Plus 11. Oh, it's 11 years because yeah. it's 24 now. I know two people who were not even married now they're before. <laughs> <laughs> to all music lovers. The highly anticipated Metro FM Music Awards are finally here. Yo, y'all ready? Purchase your tickets to gain access to the awards ceremony and the live concert happening on the 27th of April, 2024 at Mbobela Stadium for Malanga. Yo, we about to have some fun in here. You can now secure your tickets from 300 Rand at www.computicket.co.za. Yeah, man, uh, this is a big with a star-studded lineup of DJs and live performances, don't miss your chance to be part of this unforgettable celebration of talent and music excellence. Come on, Bombela, come through, let's do this. Hashtag MMA24, black to the future. Metro FM, it's where you want to be. 
Hashtag the weekend that was. That is the final whistle. On Sports Night Amplified with a delay on Metro FM. Proudly brought to you by SABC Sport. It's exactly 6.30 on the mighty Metro FM. Let's go straight now to Victor Lungwane, former CAF and uh, PSL referee, who's about to go back uh, as a fourth official. Match commission. Match commission, or even better, match commission. Uh, match commissioner in, uh, in, uh, in, in the DSTV premiership. So he's a man who's still very much involved in refereeing. We're laughing just now, but these are serious matters, and I think we must treat them, especially when so many coaches... Because coaches speak about their jobs, players speak about mm-hmm. their livelihoods. So if we can just address a couple of things here. Let's perhaps start with Sia Dremovic. If you missed it, this is what Sia Dremovic had to say about having the same referee over and over these games. He even mentions the games at the same referee who's done a job that is not up to par, according to him, in each of his games, yet still gets his games over and over. The referee is Orani Quinda, who's the man that's been taking care of his games. Here's the coach. It's a very strange uh, situation that, that we get a referee that is four uh, times now is here. So it means against uh, Sekune, against uh, Stellenbosch in the final, DG General, and now again. And every time he had a very strange the, the, the positions. So it means when I see uh, yesterday what happened Amazul against Orlando, then I have to ask is why it's so many referees there? Why again him? Because in the final we should get two times a penalty. It was a clear one. We didn't get it. So I say that very strange the positions. So there you go. Yeah. Ref, yeah. how does the allocation of referees work? Sierra Dramovic wants to know. Mm. He says he gets the same referee and he mentions the games. Orani Gwinda has been there for him four games in a row. Yeah. Did, you, did we double check the games that he mentioned? Is it in a row? Yeah. Uh, ma, uh, let's educate the coach. Uh, because reference department is independent. They do their appointments without any influence. Um, you can get that referee four or five times, even ten times in a season. Uh, the only difference is you cannot get him consecutive. Uh, you cannot do TS Galaxy this week and they play the following week he's there. Uh, Safa has made a ruling that uh, we that must not be done or that is unacceptable. So if he gets Olani Quinda this week, he jumped the following week, he get Olani Quinda that other week. Is still allowed uh, because that's the best man for the job as per the appointment committee. Because the appointment committee appoints, uh, they look at the form of the referee, they look at uh, the quality of the referee for that match because the quality of the referee uh, uh, and, the, and the quality of the match determines uh, who should be appointed for that match. So, SAFA referees department, SAFA appointment committee have done a, a good job, have not transgressed in any rule by appointing Olan Quinta to that match. Is it four games in a row? I'm still trying to confirm. Uh, but, I'll, but 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 yeah. Mazzola will confirm that uh, you've got the games, right? The four games I've he mentioned. Got the games, yeah. What are the games that he mentioned? You said Super Sport. He said Stelis, I think. Hey, but now do we have that clip? Which one of the two clips is it? Is it the one that we just played or the other one? Or is Cocoon is the other one? Yeah. Yes, because yeah. the, the, the one, one, the immediate one I was trying to check was the Super Sport United one. So if it is four games in a row that you are riffing the same team, yeah, that shouldn't and is not allowed. It's not allowed. I was uh, appointed to, uh, a, a, you know, rem- the last time I did Chief Sundowns match in Pretoria, uh, when uh, Nikovi scored after Pizzo said he touched the head of uh, 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 Castro. Remember that match? Mm-hmm. Uh, I w- they wanted to appoint me to a Chiefs match the following week. I refused and said, hey, the rules are not allowed. So, so, but then it means the people that appoint don't know the rules then. No, if no, they no. were going to appoint you, and if you had to remind them, no, at times they 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 feel this is the best man for the for the job. So then they break the rules. So now you have to advise them. They are human beings as well. So they break the rules. No, you you advise them as well to say, uh-uh, this one I can't go. I was they in that forgot match. the they rules. They, they, it's, it's a human error. Okay. So then, but you need to uh, ah, to remind I'm them. Not happy with but, that. But no, no, no. no it hold on, Tatan. Yeah, the people whose job it is yeah. to place referees in games. Uh-huh. The rules are simple. Yeah. You cannot give the same team a referee in two consecutive games. Yes. Right? Yes. They've even made the mistake of once almost sending you. You had to remind them. It was not like they've already sent me. 
they said we are sending you by mouth. Then I had to remind them, hey, because they yeah, were excited. even that it they means... were excited about the performance on the day. That it was I a did verbal appointment. Well. They were excited no. about the performance on the day. But then it explains why I would have a thing like this. No, 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 no. If no. The, if 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 Orina, if Orini doesn't say, hey guys, I did them last week, it means then it goes forward. Because if you hadn't said no, but I just did them last week, it means you are going to go forward. Well, no, in this uh, case, he didn't. The referee between uh, Super Sport and and Galaxy the week before was Masiko Lebambis. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. not the referee in question. Exactly. So that dispels the coach's allegation or claim that. Yeah, but I mean, if I have five games and four of them have the same referee, it's still a lot. No, no, the season has got 30 games, Ma. So if you go one, you jump one, you go again, you jump one, it's allowed. I'll go back again and check the game before Super Sport United. Hang on, but carry on. I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I'm not convinced. To be no, honest. no, my, uh, the, the, the rule is clear. It says you cannot send a referee consecutive. Now, in this case, Siad says uh, uh, same referee, same referee, same referee. Yes, same referee, but if it's not consecutive, it's allowed. Let's uh, let's close it there. No, we'll double check on the consecutive nature of, you know, uh, uh, this appointment. Was it consecutive? You watched that game. How do you think the ref in question, Orini? Olan did? Quinda. No, yeah. he, did Olan very, Quinda yeah, he did very well in that game. If you check, uh, he gave penalty there, penalty there, which were correct decisions uh, at the end of the day. And nobody complained. I saw, no, there was a complaint because I saw a TS Galaxy getting a break. Yes. Right? Yeah. They were on the break, they were on their way to goal. Yeah. And then I saw him stop for an infringement that had happened and he didn't let, he didn't do the play on. Yeah, you know, when you have to give a look at, uh, sometimes you are quick with the whistle and only realize late, ish, I should have allowed play to continue. So you saw that moment? Yeah, I saw that moment. Had he allowed Tears Galaxy to play on there because they were on the attack? Yes. There was three no, there uh, were, attackers going forward. No, there were two attackers going forward. No, there forward was one on the far play. side. I was too far. <laughs> <laughs> but two attackers, yes. And then, but that, that, that's an opportunity for goal. And, and he stopped the match. And uh, Mojela is too quick. So maybe you could have killed one or two. But then the referee decided to stop and give a yellow card of which he should have allowed advantage. Because he can always give the yellow card later. <laughs> yes. Sometimes when they're stopping a promising attack, the law does not allow you to give a yellow card. Ah. Yeah. Yes. So one mistake. No, I understand. I understand. See it. One small mistake. But then. What was the final the, score? Final score. That one didn't even affect the game. Just too far away from goals. No. So yeah. we only deal with a, a, a infringement that influence the outcome of the match so it's too far from the the, the goals all right what else do you have i'm not convinced i think that you know not only our referees but perhaps we need to take a look as well at uh, those that appoint them i think that panel it, it, it needs to be looked at. What else do you have, though? But they've not done anything wrong. Let's move, Ma. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Mazola, have you checked? I've been checking. Uh, According to my anything. records here, yeah, it's not the same referees. Yeah, I've gone to the um, you, Sikukune game as well. Yeah, my records here say it was Tandon Zanzeka who was the referee between Sikukune and TX Galaxy. Maybe the information that I have here is wrong. Maybe uh, the coach must maybe WhatsApp you. Coach, I want that team sheet, coach. <laughs> what else do you have there? My eye on the uh, Amatak Sundance, we saw a, a, a educational moment there where there was a clear handball. You know, clear handball, people will ask for you look at. But we saw a clever move by Serino who wanted to take a quick free kick. And then the referee stopped him to issue that yellow card. Now, we are saying there's a rule that was amended in 2019, 2020 to say if a team wants to take a quick free kick, take that yellow card back to the pocket and allow play to continue because the advantage has been restored. So it's, it's one educational moment that I feel uh, uh, the, our Metro listeners should, should, should know this, that uh, even our referees as well should know that if a yellow card has to be issued for a spa, which is stopping a promising attack, and the team decide to take a quick free kick, allow them to take a quick free kick. Who knows? Maybe a goal can be scored. Take that yellow card back to the pocket because it was only a spa. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> what else? Do you have another one? Uh, no, I think for now I will wait for you to, to ask me. But for now... <laughs> <laughs> Orlando uh, Pirates, yeah. Amazulu, yeah. that penalty moment, that is the scandal you speak of. You say you don't want to address it right now because you want to show it visually. Yeah, for lack of better word by the coach uh, to use the big word uh, scandal 
uh, maybe an era or it could have been a better word, but uh, we'll take it to Soccer Zone where we'll explain as to what exactly happened. But the key word that we can leave our uh, listeners with is what we call impact. Yeah. When there's an infringement, kicking, a holding, we look at an impact. Was oh, there an o'clock impact? O'clock high feet. 10 o'clock <laughs> high feet. All right, Rick, Rick I appreciate Rick it. Impact. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I've got a feeling it's not going to go the way. I thought it was a done and dusted one, but you're making me believe otherwise. Let's take a break. When we come back, Mazel has got some stories. And then we take your calls, of course, on anything from over the weekend. You can give us a call. I'm expecting a call. Uh, Timmy, can I ask you a question? I said, Jimmy, man. Give me, give me. Yeah, no, please give us a call. Uh, no, 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 give us a call. See, David, the, we've got an Arsenal fan that, that calls in and tells me my stuff all the time. So I'd love to hear from you. 86 WhatsApp on 060-552-7303. Podcast Friday on Sports Night Amplified with a delay on Metro FM. Nadim, Chabupule No, no, no. Chabupule no, no. No, no, no. Let's quickly go to Mike. Today I have to agree with our Jabupule. No, 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 no. no. Nadim, not Jabupule. <laughs> carry on, carry on, Mike. Roland must now get defenders that can also score. Because now in the modern game, you need defenders that can score. Podcast Friday. Wow. God, I'm asking myself for now. If you're not listening to Metro FM at this time on a Friday, what, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Wow. It's no interesting. Back. 6 to 7 p.m. 6 to 7 p.m. Let's pay tribute to those who made the ultimate sacrifice for freedom. We wrote songs to say to the children. Paving the way for us to embrace it fully. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are black. That's it. Metro FM, commemorating 30 years of democracy. The three wise men, but not always so wise. On Sports Night Amplified with Mdile on Metro FM. exactly 6 of 42 on the Mighty Metro FM. I see it. I see the messages. I see you wanting uh, to address the Orlando Pirates thing, but uh, we will do so on Soccer Zone this evening because one of those that it must be visual. And that's why we do it. We go into so much more detail every evening, 10 o'clock on Mondays. Mazola, you got some big stories. What's going on? I've got some big stories, Andile. The first one being Richards Bay, who are currently second uh, from bottom of the DSTV Premiership. They've been hit with a FIFA ban. Last year, last season, rather, they signed a Kenyan attacker by the name of Ovela Ochieng. He made about uh, eight appearances or so. Then the contract was mutually terminated. Obviously, the two parties agreeing on a settlement. But to date, they haven't paid the player. And the player, obviously, as an international player, was able to go to, uh, to FIFA uh, to register his case. And FIFA have come out after the investigation and internal uh, hearing, or whatever the case may be there, and ruled uh, that Safa must also immediately... Uh, implement a transfer ban mm. uh, internationally as well as locally uh, for Richards Bay. So let's see. Uh, obviously, these things, wa- once it happens, as we've seen with the case of Morocco Swallows, Kaiser Chiefs, or Royal AM being an exception, uh, but Apulukwane uh, City as well, they had the bans lifted because they ended up paying. Uh, yeah. They said, uh, and th- once you pay, it's immediate? Once you pay, it takes a couple of days, but it should be almost immediate that then FIFA will update on their website and say uh, the club has. It happened to Raja Casablanca in December and they paid immediately. And Raja, as we speak, are able to sign players as well. So let's see how that develops. Obviously, if they survive uh, but haven't uh, uh, paid uh, Ochieng, they will not be able to register players next season. And then let's stay in KZN. Do we know how much they owe? I'm not entirely sure okay. how much how, how much they go. I'll get that those details at a later stage. But let's stay in KZN. Uh, Amazulu coach, we heard him speaking post-match, but he did go into the mandatory press conference as well and elaborated on what he meant when he was talking about uh, the incidents of that Pirates versus Amazulu in Edben Cup clash. We could have received a red card after what happened, which was crazy. The normal thing is that uh, we didn't control ourselves. But again, the great for my team because after such a scandal, then we came back to, into the pitch and we control our emotions and we play, as you said, with discipline, with quality, and we deserve a different result. But when you are playing against these circumstances and we are used to it, it's a pity, but we are used to it, you know, we know what we can expect when we are playing this kind of opponents. This is the anger we all have and I'm expressing 
doing that here. I think it's a shame for the country. Well, that is um, uh, the coach there of Amazul, of course, speaking about what he called a scandal. He didn't just stop there. Have a listen to what he says here. As you said, that kind of games, uh, which was amazing from both teams, um, must be decided the way it was. And from there, uh, I think that it's a pity that we cannot talk just about football today. We need to talk about the main reason of things to happen and results to be to one team or to another one. Again, uh, today I think it was too much, a huge scandal. From there, it's not the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth one during the season. I think we are not respected at all. I think we are not respected at all. By the way, this is the consensus amongst almost all 16 uh, Premier Division coaches. They feel targeted. Uh, they feel the The standard of our refereeing. Every single Monday we sit here with Victor, and even he's not honest about how low our standards are and how big games are decided dubiously and how too many mistakes are made. Absolutely. absolutely. Vic, I can see you smiling. <laughs> But it, it, it's true. You co- see, Very true. you have one team. One there was a season where it was uh, Beatles, Sundowns, and Kaiser Chiefs, and the, the, the benefiting. You know, there was two, three coaches complaining about mm. the standard of now refereeing there. Mm. But you can't have week in, week out referees, and we're speaking referees. Can we? Can we? Can we call the head of referees tomorrow? Let, let's have Abdul come on tomorrow, mm. and let's talk to Abdul because it cannot be. And we know that they failed. They failed their yeah. tests. When was it? The assessments. When they failed the assessment, the referees. During, during Geno- the Afghan Geno- break. Geno- no? February. Yeah, January, January, February. January, February. Yeah. A huge chunk of them. Um, 70% failing. And then two weeks later, they were fine. No, they are clearly not fine. No, no. There's a retest. That's for fitness assessment. When is the retest? No. Uh, they did the retest before the season, season starts. And they were deemed to be okay. Yeah, they were, they were okay. Well, they are clearly not. And they are clearly no, not. no, in terms of fitness. No, because no, no. Because that is fitness assessment. But I mean, we're talking about understanding and implementation of rules. They must Our go referees back to they must go back to are not on par. Yeah. No, that's for Abdul. Uh, I mean, something as simple as TS Galaxy. Something as simple as, you know, the team is in attack. There's no head injury. Mm-hmm. There's not even a player down. But you stop the promising attack so that you can give a yellow card. Yeah. If I was the if I was the coach of the team, I'd feel I'd be seething. I, I'd feel hard done by yeah. just to give a yellow card of an incident that was not even <laughs> unbelievable. Like I no. say, uh, the standard of uh, officiating in the no. GSTV at an all time low. What else do you have? Let's speak about something that uh, Safa president says is at an all time high now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Safa House, uh, Danny Jordan addressing the media over the uh, weekend. Hi to Dr. Danny Jordan. I know he's listening, listens every day. Talking about uh, that recent raid by the Hawks. Yeah. And he says it was unlawful and he maintains that. Let's hear what he has to say. All is well. That is what our members said. That is our report to our members and they are happy. All of the fabrication and you must read the story that has been written and the people who are blamed there. So once you've read all of them, perhaps you can have a proper discussion on this question. Uh, as we've said, the Hawks, the raid was illegal, unlawful, and we are going to, uh, 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 to the court. And other people who are complicit in this matter, we will be called to that court. So let us wait for that court. You'll see when it unfolds what actually is the matter. Dr. Danny Jordan, president of SAFA. This is Andy Ling, movie of Sports Night Amplified with Andy Le. Not for me. But for the one person that listens to us, we'd love to have a conversation with you. I've said this to you in person. Uh, I've said this to you on this radio. I've said this to you in text. I've said this to you over the phone. We'd love to have you sit here in the same manner that you sat with journalists and answered those questions and answer a couple of our questions. Well, he says everything is hunky dory, so there's no, there, there shouldn't nothing be a reason hide. why he shouldn't. Uh, there's nothing to hide. Come to the studio. I've got a couple of papers in my hand. You've got a couple of papers in your hand. Let me ask you what's on my papers, and let's see if they correspond. Simple as that. Well, uh, from Safa House to Kev House, uh, President Mutipe was out in Angola, and he is encouraging 
uh, the federation there to launch a bid to host the 2029 AFCON. As you remember, next year the AFCON is going to Morocco. After that, it's the joint uh, host nations between Kenya uh, as well as Tanzania and Uganda, if I'm not mistaken. And then the 2029 remains vacant. And uh, Patrice Mutsipe says, Angola, why not? This country has got a, a proud history of football, including some very good uh, infrastructure. Uh, and, and I was told that, uh, and of course, Angola did a very good job hosting the AFCON uh, many years ago. We've already received about 10 nations that have said they want to, com they want to put in a proposal to host AFCON 20 or Khan 2029. And that is beautiful because we've just had the most successful Khan in the history of African football. One of the other things that he says there, uh, he says that, um, you know, the top leagues in Africa pay better than most Scandinavian leagues. Um, so we should looking at retaining a lot of our talent in Africa rather than they go to Scandinavian leagues. And I don't think it's about payment, though. As much as the president is right, mm -hmm. I think they go there as it's seen as a step towards the big European leagues. Of course, yeah. um, You know, the top five leagues. If you play in Scandinavian countries, it's easier and you're closer to be seen and scouted to move on. What else do you have? Last one? Yeah, that was the last one. Uh, and the rest will take it to Soccer Zone. Uh, it will be visual as well there. Uh -huh. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll take your WhatsApps as well as your calls. Uh, Sinong, All right, here we go. Call Metro FM now on 0860 00 Drop us a voice note on 060 552 7303. Waking up, I'm too turned up. Hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, hey, greetings, man. I wear Udlalanga, Udlalanga to Mr. Ref. You cannot contradict yourself like this. I mean, it means there's something so wrong with the structure, and I'm not happy. I mean, I mean, I mean, I personally, I'm not happy. Um, it's more like I said last mm. week, there's just so mm. many errors that the refs are doing and seemingly no one is doing anything about it. There's 100%. no improvement at all, which makes us wonder who's together, where, I mean, whatever that we speak on and whatever that he says on the show, when Zagala and what happens afterwards, what do they do? Because seemingly it just gets worse. No, I agree. Good evening. Good evening, James. Hey, and I only have a problem with what happened to Kagolia Pirates. I'm a Pirates fan, but that was not a penalty. Hmm. <laughs> hey, from what I'm hearing, the ref thinks otherwise. We don't have, we don't have, I mean, quality uh, referees or refereeing whatsoever. Hey, this thing is costing some hour. No, I can do many more. Good evening, guys. Mashat Zampashala here, hey, a long-suffering <laughs> Arsenal fan. Um, Coach Peter used to say, this thing still has a heartbeat. We are far from over. I'm waiting for the another twist in this fascinating tale. Sure, sure. Mashat, of course, a friend of the room. And uh, if He's you right, ever want, if, games. if you ever want a pizza exclusive, I can even tell you, it's not going to come from here. It's going to come from Mashat. <laughs> If I want a pizza exclusive, I get close to my thoughts. <laughs> That's the man that uh, comes with uh, the exclusives there. But I can tell you now, uh, I'm going to say it for the last time. Arsenal, well, Arsenal. This it's just what they do. Beat, no, it's just what they do. Hey, Andy, how's it, my brother? Hey. Uh, speaking to me, eh? mm. I'm so. a bit choosy. No, hey. Uh, as I'm a cozy fan, uh, we don't have a lot to say. About the weekend, nah. but all I can say is the the mighty elephant has fallen. Hey, man, elephant even. Man City will win the the EPL. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you. Play one more. They will hey, take some mazola. Lepara, andi, lebapshonga ne vite. Uzulu ngena tala mitepe ni pakani ya Eli Jaboli ile. Quick one to coach your muzzle and coach your ATS Galex. Abaye Kuluma, Abaye Kuluma Labo coach, Aba fixer e coaching up. Ukocha your muzzle, you got too excited of a lot of Taliban fans in Abadanaba. How can you allow your team to PJ Buffalo's place against ball playing team like a parrot? He got too excited. He got too excited. Like a fix your coaching up, a vanum log, fix your coaching. He parrot, you only frustrated them by doing a low block. Zulu and I got a tanky. 
<laughs> no, no comment. Ah, Zulu, no. <laughs> no comment. Ah, Zulu, no. Aye, it's Let's a first. Go. My eye is speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Donald. Donald is in Bryanston. Uh, Donald. Ah, Andy, me. Yeah, I think you are like me today. You are not convinced. I'm not convinced at all. I ah. want to be in the Badana. Hmm. Hmm. David, he, he, he is an advocate. He shouldn't be an advocate. When rapists are wrong, they are wrong. You must yes. condemn them. Yes, when they are wrong, they are wrong. We ah, always say it. You, you, no, okay. Ah, okay. Well, okay, let me ask you straight up. Emma, Donald, let me ask him excuse. straight up. What do you mm. think of the level of refereeing in the DCP Premiership? I'm asking you or him. Him, I'm asking him. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? <laughs> there's, there's, there's room for improvement. There's <laughs> <laughs> room for improvement. It's not Thank a you, room. David. It's an entire hotel. <laughs> there's a house, man. It's, a, it's houses. It's a neighborhood. Yeah, we can't be complaining week in and week out. It, it also speaks to uh, the, the quality of our reviews and, and the leak, man. It's Yeah, man, it's quite... Uh, disturbing to us. It's disheartening. No, no, I fully agree with you. Uh, we can't be complaining week in and week out. But the authorities yeah. there, like Ma'a said, they will speak to Abdul to come in you know, and share what is Safa's program in terms of rehabilitation and improving the standard. So I think uh, uh, maybe that will pave a, a better way or better answer. All right. Yeah, no. Don't know, I appreciate you, Abdul. man. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Let's go to Peter. Peter's out in Brits. Wants to speak about the NetBank Cup. Uh, Peter? How are you? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, but yes, because my uh, uh, is still there, no? Yes, yes, sir. Still here. Ah, uh, but you know, I'm a parrot supporter and a fan at the same time. But uh, for that penalty, the penalty was was that was the incorrect decision. Which one? The pirate one? Yeah, the parrot one. I'm a supporter of the I'm a fan of the parrot. I didn't see any touch. I didn't see any what, whatever that people are talking about. But what must we do to improve uh, the referring decisions and all that stuff? Because VAR is something that we are talking about. Of which we, I don't see any VAR any time soon. And then even if you call uh, Abdul, Abdul Ibrahim tomorrow, you're going to talk something different. Now, Angela, the only problem that I think we have to do the only problem that we have in South Africa is the, the referees, the human beings, they're making errors. But some of the errors are not good, are not good, are bad. Because the the only thing is the direction, the position that the referee he was in still was bad. Because you ref, you said no, it's a penalty. But the direction, the position that the referee was in, was incorrect. No, I hear you. And I, I'm looking forward to Tavik. You know, he's saying he's not giving us that one. He's taking it to soccer zone because it seems, I thought it was straightforward, but it seems there's, you know, it, it's very much like that Sundown's goals. The, 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 that um, younger, is it a goal or not a goal? Did it cross the line? He says other people think it's not, other people think it is. So let's see it visually this evening at 10 o'clock. But I appreciate you. Thank you so much there. Uh, where's the Arsenal people? Let's go to Jimmy. Jimmy. Where are you from, Eh. social media. You heard, right? On please, Facebook, please. the clips from Soccer Zone of the referee speak the same way we do on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mazola, let's please do it. Mm-hmm. Jimmy, for you, it will be done. Uh, let's go to Lunga. I'm listening. but <laughs> Mm. And Damano Mugu Hurmanaha. 
Have you given up? The likes of me, Jimmy, I'll tell you about my Because some, 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 some people, but Banalu, but Banalu, and the race are over the chance. So, the negative of our time. Marano, all I want to know is this. Lunga, have you given up, Lunga? Too. Have you given up on the league? Uh, fortunately, this season, no. Uh, because why? Uh, at least I saw the last season. For the last season, I'm going to 11, 12 points gap. Mara, this season, Honestly speaking, we're not having uh, easy games uh, compared to Man City, but Axel give up. Marana is good ready to end in last week. I keep at the Champions League, I would give up the EPA. I'm going to the Champions League. Focus on the one. Okay, we got to go. We got to go. Go, go, go. go. Faith is your longer. Faith is your longer. She's an all black, and you know what that means. She means she means business. Uh, Tatan. Let's take this fight, you and I, because we're fighting now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, Tlanganali. Mazola, I'll see you in a bit. One day. Yeah, no, you're done. Go Boba Team. Go Boba Team. Salawat Baba Kholo. Thank you. Hey, Faith. Hi, Andile. Oh, black looks so good on you. Do you like it? I really do. Yeah. It's the first time I wear a cap in front of you also. It is. There's yeah. an intrigue about it. There's like a open the curtain about it. There's an open the curtain yeah. about it. Really? How was your weekend? It was very really good. Thank you. I had a, I had a really good weekend. Um, enjoyable. Restful. You know, I was thinking about it, and um, and this is for everybody that's listening that's been in a relationship for two years and above, right? By the way, you're also wearing all black. I didn't even notice. You're I am. both wearing all black. Look at that. Look at that. That's going to be a very moody funeral. <laughs> um, but I was thinking, and this is for people that have been together two years, like in a serious relationship. Mm-hmm. My measure of I'm still all in and I haven't had it in a very long time. Like, I remember the one girl that I had this with. If you've been in a relationship for over two years, mm-hmm. but you can still speak on the phone for an hour, mm-hmm. two years later. Because once we get into the role of life and we get going, it's quick calls. It's five minutes, ten minutes. You know, no, I'll see you later. Oh, no, tough day. It's messages. When you're in a relationship two years later and you can speak for an hour, that for me is the most beautiful thing, the most... That is the apex. That is the acme of relationships for me. That, That is the roof. If I can still call you two years later and speak to you for an hour, it doesn't matter what we're speaking about. That's that's the truest form of my heart. Hmm. Have you ever had anything like that? Um, I have. I have. And um, these are moments that either... And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, hmm. right? But I think what is beautiful about it is that relationships of that nature teach you something and they imprint you and they teach you something about yourself and you learn something about love and you will learn perhaps a new dimension of love and i think that we all have people placed in our lives so that they can help us stretch our hearts a little bit bigger they make us so the person that you were able to speak to for an hour after two years they stretched your heart a little bit bigger showed you how much more capacity that you've got for love and i value those kinds of relationships because they actually show us how much love you've got to give and how much love you can open yourself up to to receive so i'm willing to sacrifice amazing romantic pernyakos mm-hmm. like i'm talking about it the it the, can, the, the horizontal dance yeah, yeah 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 it can be not the average. best i've ever had average yeah for that really yeah, yeah if we if i can have somebody that we can talk to uh, i fall asleep while she's talking she falls asleep while we're talking every night you know during the day we you know we can speak not every day but there's a uh, once a week or every other day we even if it's in a month, we can speak for an hour on the phone. My sacrifice to get that, I wouldn't mind medium horizontal horizontal dances. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to flash. This is, you throw me off all the time. I get thrown off in the show. I, and it's not even our show. It's, 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 what, it's, it's, what um, I, it's important to me. That's what's important to me. Okay, what's important so, to you? Uh, <laughs> look, I'm, I'm a Scorpio by nature. I am somebody who I'm loving and I love to touch and I love to feel and I love to pleasure as much as I love being pleasured. And I would want or work hard to give you the best of both worlds. 
so the hour conversation and your horizontal dance must leave you feeling excited and i'll tell you why i want you when you're doing your you know what i want you to do i want you when you're busy doing your time check four minutes after seven o'clock and we're about to speak to this and we're talking about mommy lodi sundowns and at the back of your head you get reminded of what i did to you yesterday that's the that's what I want. I want you to look forward to coming home. I want you to go bye guys, bye Mazola without even saying so that here I go. And you know what? I want you to get into your car and come home because you know exactly what you're getting at home. As much as it's the one hour, but I also want you to look forward to coming home to me because I'm home. Does you that know, make sense? I said this to a friend of mine, I'm gonna say it to you. What you are looking for there is a unicorn. Now you gotta ask yourself. Do unicorns exist? It's exactly five after the mm. hour seven. What do you have going on? Lots in store for us this evening. Lots of political talk. Electoral uh, Commission of South Africa confirming its intention to challenge the electoral court decision, which ruled in the favor of Mkonto Sizwe. And of course, having um, the candidate, uh, former President Jacob Zuma, standing as MKP's uh, candidate for the upcoming elections. We're going to be in conversation with CASEC. Of course, that is uh, the Council for the Advancement of uh, South African Constitution. We're also in conversation with MKM Party, um, especially about exactly where to from here. We're also going to be speaking about the National Student Financial Aid Scheme. The board has been dissolved. You would have seen that in the news with the chairperson, Ernest Koza, tendering his resignation. What is the now impact on NFSAS as well as the ability to get consistent funding and organization? We're in conversation with NFSAS as well this evening. And students, this one is specifically for you. If you're struggling also with NFSAS, can we just like get your um, get your details as well so that we can get into the conversation after se- before 7 o'clock or before 8 o'clock? And then after 8 this evening, it happens every single Monday. Yes, last week Monday when we started it. I mean, thank you because we were overwhelmed with how many people actually were seeking it's one of my favorite features n- on you know, radio period so it's it, another legal talk this evening we've got our legal counselors our counselors all three we've got a criminal law expert so please if you're dealing with a criminal case if you're dealing with something that is a family matter if you're dealing with corporate um a, a case, yes those especially or or you're dealing with a maintenance issue or you got arrested because somebody phoned in last week and said that they got arrested Please call in. Our counselors are in the studio this evening with us once again, and we are here to answer all of your legal matters. Hey, Faith, she's coming in um, in the next two hours. We've got to get out of here. Catch me on Soccer Zone this evening, 10 o'clock, alongside Victor and Mazola. We break down in visuals what we spoke about here. Was it uh, a penalty or was it not? That coming up at 10 o'clock for myself and my entire team. Pella, pella, and so me. Don't touch that dial. I said what they said. It's now a different playing field. Metro FM. It's where you want to be.